My name is Jay Cashman. I'm the chairman of the board of Cashman Companies, uh, located here in Quincy, Massachusetts. The company was started by myself in uh, uh, about 1970 when I was in high school. Over the years, we built it into a, uh, a multi-disciplined, heavy, civil, marine, dredging. Yeah, well, we had basically done the demolition on the Fort River Bridge project and there had been a aqua bridge there for many years. So we had the demolition contract to take down the temporary structure and the remnants of the former bridge. The project was actually next to our headquarters. I kept looking at this bridge and I said to myself, this, we have to find some sort of repurpose for it. It had been scheduled in our estimate to just uh, demolish it and send it to the junkyard and to get the value of the junk. It was amazing, big, very heavily, heavily trafficked bridges were made of these uh, these structures, which I had like two miles of. And I think it takes a lot of courage to actually get down there and get your hands dirty, which, you know, going down to Haiti and seeing people in poverty and maybe an abject poverty, the greater poverty I've ever seen in the world. And I said to myself, okay, maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. So off we went. My name is Liz Churchia. I'm a project manager at uh, J. Cashman Inc. and I am the co-director of the Cashman Family Foundation. They came into possession of all of this several thousand linear feet of Acro Bridge and in deciding what to do with it we thought the, the best thing to do would not be to scrap it but to use it again because it does still have it's still totally serviceable it has a lot of life left so through our connections and our friends who already do work in Haiti we got connected to some parties down there that are just that are interested in infrastructure development and helped us to sort of develop the concept for it. that became the Cashman Family Foundation you know, we're really kind of looking for places that will never end up getting any attention. That's kind of my goal at this point, is like Purish, help us on nobody's radar. And Liz found that opportunity. They've helped me navigate social, economic, political dynamic of Haiti, which is, let's just say, it's complicated, at the very least. It's really complicated. Nobody's ever going to help these people. And this is something that I can really feel that we accomplished something. You know, one of the compelling reasons to promote this program or, or to keep these these bridge sections as they were was the fact that they were galvanized. Even after 20 years, there's very little lamination, there's very little oxidation that's taken place. The galvanizing stuck on it, whoever did the job did a really good job. These bridges, they're just as good as they once were. Generally speaking, I think that they're in excellent condi condition. It's amazing. You know, I'm familiar with galvanizing from back in the 60s when I first started building bridges and everything had to be hot dip galvanized and, and it wasn't that way before. And piers and uh, you know, all the bolts that we had were galvanized. You know, we can go back to products that we did decades ago and you can still back those bolts off. And the fact that if I was concerned about that galvanizing, I would have basically just you know, sandblasted and repainted it. Okay, I'll regalvanize it, whatever, but the galvanizing was good. I think that they'll get another 30, 40 years out of this thing without really much in the way of maintenance at all down there. My experience with galvanizing, you know, over the years, particularly around marine structures, you know, and it really kind of changed the world.